Hi, my name is Karen, and welcome to day 11 of the Mat Fundamental Pilates workout. Go ahead and find a place to lay down on your back in a comfortable position and lay down. Starting with imprinting, take a deep breath in and blow out all of your air, feeling your back get heavy into the mat. Again, breathe deeply. And blow out that air, feeling your back melt into the mat. Again, do inhale into your nose. Exhale through your nose, pressing each individual vertebra into the mat. One more, big deep breath in. And blow it all out, feeling your back get heavy into the mat. Moving on to breathing, breathe in through your nose. And breathe out all of that air, feeling your waist get skinnier. Again, fill up those lungs. And cinch up that waistline on the exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale and feel your abs pulling everything into the center line of your body. One more big deep breath in. And blow everything out, feeling everything move toward your midline. I said that. Go ahead and make a triangle with your thumb and your thumbs and forefingers and place it on your lower abdomen with your thumbs at your pubic bone or at your belly button, your fingertips falling toward your pubic bone, and the heel of your hand out toward your hip bones. Inhale into your lungs, filling them up, and then exhale, sinking the triangle down toward the floor. Again, big deep breath in, keep the triangle where it is, and then exhale, sinking the triangle even more. Again, inhale, fill up those lungs, exhale, empty the lungs and sink the triangle toward the floor a little bit more. One more, inhale, and exhale, see how much more you can sink that triangle. Clockwork, arms can go back down by your side. Imagine you have a marble on the middle of your pelvis, and as you exhale, you want to roll that marble toward your heart. Inhale and roll that marble away from your heart. Exhale, tilt your pelvis backward, feel your low back get heavy into the mat. Inhale, tilt your pelvis forward, feeling your tailbone get heavy into the mat. Again, exhale, roll it back. Inhale, roll it forward. One more. Exhale, but low back gets heavy. Inhale, tailbone is heavy. Settle back into the middle into what we call neutral pelvis, where that triangle that we made earlier with our hands is level. Rib cage arms. Arms reach up toward the ceiling. Plug those shoulder blades into the mat and reach those arms along like you're going to try to touch your fingertips to the ceiling. Keep your rib cage pressing into the mat the whole time. And exhale as you reach your arms as far overhead as you can without lifting your ribcage up off the mat. And then inhale, bring the arms back up. Again, exhale, reach overhead. Inhale and reach back up. Two more. Exhale, reach long overhead. Inhale, try to scrape those fingertips on the ceiling. One more. Exhale, reach long toward the wall behind you. Inhale, back up toward the ceiling. Arms can go down by your side. Head nods. Exhale as you lengthen through the back of the neck. Inhale as you lift your chin toward the ceiling. Again, exhale, lengthen. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale, lift. One more time. Exhale, lengthen the back of that neck. Inhale, lift your chin toward the ceiling. Neck curls. Exhale as you lengthen through the back of the neck, starting with the head nod, then fold in half at the rib cage and reach your arms long. Inhale as you lower down one piece of your spine at a time. Again, exhale, lengthen, fold in half and lift. Inhale, lengthen that spine as you lower it down. Again, exhale, lengthen and lift. Inhale, lengthen to lower down. One more time, exhale, lengthen and lift. Inhale, stretch that spine as you lower down. 
Knee folds. Keep that pelvis nice and stable in a neutral pelvis position. Abdominals are pulling in. You want to use those abdominals, scooping deeply to pull your right knee in toward your chest. Keep scooping deeply to resist lowering that knee back down. Alternating legs. Pull the left knee into the chest. And resist it going back down. Exhale as you pull your right knee into your chest. Inhale as you lower. Exhale, left knee into the chest. Inhale, lower. Exhale, right knee comes into your chest. Inhale and lower. Exhale, left knee comes into your chest. Inhale, lower. One more on each side, breathing deeply. And left knee, exhale in. Inhale as you lower. Next is flight. Roll over onto your tummy. Arms long by your side. Abdominals are scooping as if you're going to lift them right up off the mat. Shoulder blades are pulling down into your back pocket. And forehead is hovering just over the mat. Inhale as you lengthen through the crown of the head. Reach the arms and hover the head and chest off the mat. Lengthen as you lower back down. Inhale. Stretch that spine as you lift. Inhale and lengthen to lower. Two more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower back down. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale and lower back down. Seated tracking is next. Sit up onto your bottom. Sit up nice and tall. You want to try to stack your body, head over shoulders, over ribs, over your right over your sit bones. If you can, with your legs straight. Legs are reaching out straight. Abdominals are scooping deeply to keep lifting your body up. And um, press through those heels like you're reaching them toward the wall out in front of you. Line up the middle of your foot with the middle of your shin, your knee, your thigh, and your the middle of your, um, your hip joint. So reaching along through those heels to start. And then press through the balls of the feet and lengthen the toes. Pull the toes back and push through the heels. Again, push through the balls of the feet, lengthen the toes, pull the toes back in, push through the heels. We have two more. You want to keep your foot aligned with your leg and your hip the whole time. Last one, and then pull the toes back, push through the heels to flex. Go ahead and roll back down onto your back for our knee spreads. Knees and feet begin together this time. Again, neutral pelvis, abdominals are scooping. Inhale as you open your knees out to the side. Exhale as you scoop deeply to pull the knees back up. Inhale, open wide. Exhale, scoop deeply to pull them back up toward the ceiling. One more time. Inhale, open wide. Exhale, pull those knees back up. Knee sways. Inhale as the knees reach over to the right side, keeping the left shoulder on the floor. And then exhale, scoop the ab abdominals deeply to pull the knees back to center. Alternating sides. Knees go to the left, right shoulder stays on the floor. And then exhale, pull the knees back to center. Over to the right again. Lengthen long through that top leg. Bottom leg's lengthening too. And scoop to pull back up. Over to the left, lengthening long through that top leg. Scoop deeply to pull back up. One more each side. Over to the right. And scoop to pull back up and over to the left. And come all the way back to center. Flip over onto your tummy for full post arms. Laying on your tummy, you want to remember to keep those abdominals scooping as if you're going to lift them right up off the floor. Arms are straight out from the shoulder with a 90 degree angle at the elbow. And your shoulder blades are sliding into your back pockets. Again, forehead can either be on the floor or slightly lifted above it. Again, press your elbows into the floor as you lift your hands up and then lower the hands. Press the elbows to lift the hands and lower the hands. One more time. Press the elbows to lift the hands and lower the hands back down. Go ahead and roll back over onto your back for your leg slides. Knees bent, feet flat on the floor with your knee, uh, legs open about hip bone distance apart, arms long by your side, neutral pelvis, abs scooping. Press the right leg out into the floor as you stretch it out nice and long, reaching for the wall in front of you. 
Scoop the abdominals deeply with all that leg back in. Again, push that heel into the floor as you lengthen that leg out. And then scoop the pull back in. One more time, press down into the floor to lengthen out long. And then pull back in. Left leg, press deeply into the floor and lengthen out. And scoop deeply, come back in. Again, press down and lengthen. Abs pull in and up to pull that knee back in. One more time, press down and lengthen. And pull that leg back in. The 100, pull your knees in towards your chest. Head, nod, neck, curl, lift up. Arms reach long and begin to pump as you inhale for five, four, three, two, one, and exhale. Four, three, two, one, inhale, fill up your lungs. Exhale, empty your lungs. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head. Exhale, sink your abs into the floor. And big breath in. And blow it out. See if you can curl up even more as you inhale. And more as you exhale. You're halfway there. Inhale, two, three, four, five. And exhale, two, three, four, five. Keep breathing in. And breathe out. Inhale. And exhale. Two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and sit all the way up. Seated roll rollbacks. Knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Spine is stacked up nice and tall. Exhale, tilt your pelvis backward, just like we did with clockwork, to pull your spine into a capital C curve. And then inhale and stack your spine back up tall. Again, exhale and round that back. Inhale and stack back up. Exhale, tilt the pelvis to pull into that C curve. Inhale, lengthen that spine as you stack up. Keep the length as you go into a curve. Grow even taller as you go back up tall. Two more. Inhale to come back up. Last one, exhale, steep curve. Inhale and stack back up. Go ahead and roll all the way down onto your back for your one leg circle. Take your right knee right over your hip and anchor your body into the mat. Take the leg across the body, down, around, and up. Across, down, around, and up. Across, down, around, and up. Two more. Remember, your body is still, only the leg moves. And reverse. Out, down, across, and up. Out, down, across, and up. Out, down, across, and up. Two more. Lengthen that spine. Last one. And change legs. Left knee comes right over the hip and take it across. Down, around, and up. Across, down, around, and up. Across, down, around, and up. Two more. Scoop those abdominals deeply. Last one. Reverse. Out, down, across, and up. Out, down, across, and up. Out, down, across, and up. You have two more. And last one. Teeter totter. Pull both knees in towards your chest. Grab behind the thighs and press your thighs into your hands while your hands are pulling into your thighs. Head on neck curl, look down your shirt and teeter totter for six, five, four, three, two, one. You get one more to sit up. Uh, Add series, single leg stretch. Uh, hug your right knee into your, towards your chest, left leg goes out straight. Hug the, mid, the center line with your legs. And C curve with your upper body. Switch those legs. And switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. Switch. And switch. Switch. Lengthen through that spine, even in the curved position. And switch. One more each side. And last one. Double leg stretch. Pull both knees in. Lengthen the arms away from each other. Scoop deeply to pull them back in. Inhale, lengthen away. Exhale, pull it back in. Inhale, lengthen that spine. Exhale, keep the length there. Inhale, lengthen away. Exhale, pull it back in. Two more. Inhale away. Exhale, scoop. Last one. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale and scoop. 
Spine stretch forward. Sitting up tall, so you're stacked right on top of your sit bones. Knees are bent, feet are flexed. Arms are reaching forward like they're on a countertop. Pretend you're sitting against an imaginary wall. And peel your spine off the wall, one piece at a time as you exhale and reach through the crown of your head. Inhale, stack the spine back up tall like you're stacking against the wall. Again, exhale as you round forward, stretching that spine. Inhale and stack back up. Exhale, round forward, reaching along through the crown of the head. Inhale and stack back up. Two more. Exhale, rounding. Inhale and stacking. One more time. See how much length you can get. See how tall you can be as you stack back up. So, arms open wide. Twist to one side and round forward. Reaching long. Inhale and stack back up. Rotate to the other side. Exhale, round forward. Reach. Inhale, stack up and rotate. Exhale and reach. Reach deeper. Reach deeper. Inhale. Roll up. Rotate. Exhale. Reach. Reach deeper. Reach deeper. Inhale. Roll up. Rotate. Exhale. Reach. Reach deeper. Reach deeper. Inhale. Roll up. Rotate. Last one. Exhale. Reach. Reach deeper. Reach deeper. Inhale. Up. And back to center. Bring the arms and legs together. If you want to challenge, challenge yourself to the roll down. Bring those legs out straight and together. And roll down with your hands. Roll onto your side for our side kick series. You can um, either have your arm out straight or prop your hand on your elbow. Make sure your body is at the back edge of your mat. I went right off mine. Bring your feet to the front edge of your mat. You want to make sure both waists are nice and long. That means this waist is actively working, lifting in this hip. You're reaching out of this hip with this leg. Top hand is either flat or a fist, whichever is more comfortable. And let that top leg about hip height and reach it long. Front and back, kick, kick to the front. So you get long, kick, kick to the back. Front, front, back, back. Front, front, back, back. Stretching that body from head to toe. Last one, front, front, back, back. Up and down, top leg over bottom leg. Turn that top leg out, kick it up, keeping your hips stacked. Reach long to lower down. Again, kick, spiraling that leg out, turning it out like a dancer. Kick it up, reach long to lower. Lift it up, reach longer to lower. Last one, kick it all the way up. See if you can make it longer than your bottom leg. Inner thigh lifts in circles. Go ahead and grab that ankle if you can and plant that foot on the floor. Take the bottom leg back to the back edge of the mat. Press that knee away from you, keep your hips stacked and your abdominals pulled in. Lift the bottom leg, reach it and lower. Lift, reach long and lower. Lift, reach and lower. Lift, lengthen the body, head to heel and lower. Last one, lift, stretch and lower. Circle front, up, back and down. Front, up, back and down. Three more big circles. See how big you can make them. And last one, and reverse. Up, front, down, and back. Up, front, down, and back. Lengthening long from head to heel. And two more. Last one. And bring the top leg over the bottom leg and roll onto your belly. Four hands go underneath, hands go underneath your forehead. I don't know what four hands are. The hands go underneath your forehead. And exhale as you scoop that belly deeply. Inhale, lengthen head to toes. Exhale, scoop a little bit more. And exhale, lengthen, or inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lift that belly up off the mat more. And inhale, lengthen even longer. Go ahead and roll over onto your other side and set up just as you did on the first side. Starting with front and back. Kick, kick to the front, sweep it long, kick, kick to the back. Front, front, and back, back. Front, front, and back, back. Two more. Keep your range of motion where you can keep your body nice and still and just the leg moves. Up and down, top of the leg over the bottom leg and turn it out. Turn, keep trying to turn it out as you lift it up, lengthen it long to lower down. Kick the leg up, lengthen to lower. 
up long, down even longer. Two more. And last one. And inner thigh lifts and circles. Grab the ankle if you can, plant it on the floor, and reach that top hip away from you so it's stacked on top of the bottom hip. Tendency is to collapse in. Don't let that happen. Bottom leg lifts, lengthen, and lower. Lift, lengthen, and lower. Lift, lengthen, and lower. Two more. Now if your hip head is propped on your hand, you can use your hand to help pull your head and to lengthen. And circle front, up, back, and down. Front, up, back, and down. Big circles. Nice and long through the body. Last one. And reverse. Up, front, down, and back. Up, front, down, and back. Three more. Lengthening long. Big circles. Last one. And take the top leg, plant that foot behind the bottom leg. And go ahead and sit up, bringing your thighs together, one leg length and long. Hands are behind your thighs. And exhale as you pull into a seat curve, using that pelvis tilt first. Inhale and sit up tall. Exhale, seat curve nice and long. Inhale and sit up tall. One more time. Exhale, capital C. Inhale, sit up and switch legs. Exhale, round that spine. Inhale and sit up. Exhale and round. Inhale, sit up. One more. Exhale, round that spine. Inhale and sit up. Moving on to our wall series. Find a place where you can stand against a wall. And stand with your feet out one foot distance from the wall. Heels together, toes one fist distance apart in Pilates stance. Your entire spine is pressing into the wall. You've been working on that low back. That's the hardest one to get in there. Arms start long by your side. Shoulder blades are pressing into the wall. Arm circles. Reach the arms forward and up. Out wide to the side to lower down. Forward and up. Open and down. One more this direction. Stretching those arms along. And reverse. Out wide to the side and up. Forward and down. Out and up. Forward and down. Are you still scooping those abdominals deeply? And forward and down. Alternating arms. Take one arm up toward the ceiling. And switch. And switch. And switch. One more on each side. Last one. Lower that arm. Roll down. Peel your spine off the wall one piece at a time into that capital C curve shape with your upper body. And circle the arms. Reverse your circle. Let them hang as you roll up one piece at a time, stacking the tall against the wall. Again, peel your spine off the wall, rounding down. Circle those arms. Reverse your circle, or your abs scooping deeply. Let the arms hang as you roll back up one piece at a time, lengthening the spine. One more. Peel off the wall, keeping that space between the vertebrae open. And circle the arms. Reverse your circle. And roll up one piece at a time, stacking up tall. Wall slides. Walk your feet out one more foot distance apart and separate those heels so your feet are open, hip bone distance apart. Arms are long by your side, abs are still scooping deeply. And slide down the wall as the arms reach forward, press through the heels to come back up. Again, slide down and reach, press through the heels to come back up. I'm catching my hair on my back. And slide down one more time, and slide back up. One leg wall slides, bring those legs, feet together. And slide down, one leg extends, push through the heel, try not to snake as you come up. And the other side, down, extend the leg, push to come back up. Bring your feet back to the baseboard, stand up tall, step away from the wall. Feel the length in your body, you should feel tall from the head, oh, I'm out of the frame, head all the way through the feet, nice and long and lengthened. I hope you had a good day today and that you'll be able to join us for our next workout. 
Have a great day.